Hey, what is up, guys? Termination here, and today I will be doing uh, my review and opinion on the Nerf Rapid Strike. So, the Rapid Strike, as you can see, is a blue and orange gun. Um, it is a flywheel blaster, except you don't press the trigger a bunch, you just hold down both triggers, and then it's rapid fire. So, I will go into specific details. Right at the front, there is a barrel extension right here. <coughs> Barrel extension point and a little flip up sight in case you want to like look through it and be less accurate. I don't know. And then there's the uh, a tactical rail on the bottom, uh, tactical rail right here, uh, ta another tactical rail right here, a carry handle, um, a jam door in case it gets jammed, which does happen quite often with this blaster. Um, there's like a little sling mount right here. Um, there's a little scope right there, a built-in scope, which is really cool. Um, and then instead of having a stock point, there's an extendable stock like that. So it can go out like that if you're bigger, like maybe if you're like 10 or older, but if you're younger, then you might want it uh, in like that. But um, you can't have it in the middle, it'll just push in. So. So yeah, so that kind of sucks. I also forgot to mention that there's a tactical rail right here and another one right there. So five rails. Awesome! So this blaster comes with um, an 18 round magazine. Uh, so it holds 18 darts, which is really cool. Cool, And it's completely see-through. So you can like s clearly see the darts in it. And... Um, I'll load it up and show you some firing. Alright, so we use that to rev it up and then... performance is really cool and it's really really fun to use. Now to my overall opinion. This blaster is really fun. It's not like, I wouldn't say it's really practical in a Nerf War, but it's fun to just kind of use, I don't know, it's really really fun just to kind of uh, use it every now and then if you're just kind of, I don't know, but if you want to like blast a lot of people in a Nerf War, this is the gun uh, for it, uh, unless you want to invest in the Colossal Blitz from Boomco, which is very expensive, or the Rhino Fire, which is also very expensive. Um, those two blasters are also rapid fire. <coughs> this being a lot much smaller, much easier to load. I also like the nice little paint job on it. it it's kind of cool, there's like a little, like little patterns. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting. Um, but it's really cool, um, it's fun, rail space everywhere, just as many rails as the Modulus, which is amazing, because the Modulus is not for having a lot of rails, except, uh, no stock point, yeah, that's fine, um, my only, my only concern is, if you don't have, not my only concern, but if you have it, like, right here, it just goes back in, and it doesn't stay, like with uh, like the long shot, for example, where you can, whether well, it's stock like this, but you can like have it um, in the middle instead of having it all the way out or all the way in. So I don't like that. And it's also just really easy to go through all of your darts with this. Just go like, I think that they should have had a bigger uh, magazine. I think they should have had like, a uh, Raider drum instead of an 18 round magazine. I mean, come on, people. What is this, 1937? What? But anyway, please like this video because I like likes and don't dislike this video because I dislike dislikes. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao. I can't uh, shoot the camera because my magazine is over there. <laughs>